fixed or uh, tinkered with in a lot of ways too to look different. Um, so you have a lot of different kinds, but all intelligent life has the same base form, basically being bipedal. We stand on two feet, uh, sort of a larger head. Uh, we stand upright and, and we can walk. All intelligent life has that base form that way back when, I have no clue how long ago it was, there's originally one form. We are all relatives in that sense. So that's really important for all of us to know. Uh, and that's why the hybrid program is possible in general, because there's a lot of uh, D same species DNA between us and the other breeds of alien that they mix in through the hybrid program. Now, in terms of what different types are good and bad, I'm really not a big fan of, of using good guys, bad guys term for for the because I'm a pain in the ass and I'm stubborn is the biggest reason. But really, it's all relative. Um, Let's break it down to as basic as we can and say, let's say Jesus Christ and the devil himself. To the devil, Jesus Christ is the biggest asshole in the world. To Jesus, the devil's an asshole. So it's entirely relative. Good guy, bad guy depends entirely on which side of the curtain you fall on. That said, another problem with it is the guys that I believe to be quote-unquote bad, if I've got to use that, uh, that reference, uh, would be the reptilian crowd. And the biggest problem with them is uh, they're just like every schmuck you meet, generally speaking, in the sense that they'll trick you and lie to you every way they can, every step of the way. And the, something in their species allows them to uh, mimic other beings perfectly. They can appear to be anything, and not just a living being, but like a tree if they wanted to. Uh, they can absolutely appear to be human. They can appear to be other species of alien. And that right there, quite frankly, throws the whole thing into confusion because you've got this group that I believe to be bad and wants to cause confusion that has this ability to appear to be anybody. So it's really hard to tell. And my personal opinion on the group that I was with, it, it was never uh, really announced. It, it was said they were from the middle star in Orion's belt. And apparently that's where a lot of alien abductees say that the that their uh, species of alien originated from. I, and I've heard that it, it's apparently widely known that would be the greys that are from that area. I, and I'm not sure if they're actually from that star or if that's accordance to get to wherever the heck you're going uh, to get to them. I really don't know specifically how that works on location uh, on where they come from. But I believe the group that helped me out to be the greys. That said, I also know for a period of time there, I had good ones and bad ones in my life. And I know the bad ones appeared to be good ones. And the good ones seem to erase most memory. So it's really damn hard to know. It's really freaking hard to know. Uh, I think the most important thing as it relates to this question is, uh, well, well, first off, I think you should take every being on a, on a case-by-case basis, including all of humanity, and not label things so broadly as one species, because really then we're no further than racism. Um, it, but yeah, sometimes you need to categorize things too and I understand that. I think the biggest thing to understand is that the universe is absolutely teeming with intelligent life that has evolved so much further past humanity that, that we can even comprehend and uh, at some point here I believe we're going to come in major contact with them. If that will be within this present lifetime I have, I don't know. It sure could be with 2012. I don't uh, I don't necessarily expect it. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, from what I've heard a large part of that depends on what humanity does. Fair enough. But I, I think what's important to know is there are thousands and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, or millions of different quote-unquote species of, of alien. Um, and to realize that they're not all the same, we know almost nothing about it. Even the abductees know some about it, but very little. And, uh, and not to categorize any really species or group is all the same. If anything has caused <laughs> more wars on planet Earth in recent history, I'd like to know what it was. That's, that's what causes violence and hate. And uh, it's just small-minded, I think, uh, to, to look at things as groups like that. And uh, generally speaking, yes, they have some of the same characteristics and things like that. Those are the two groups that I feel, if I had to say good or bad, I would weigh as good or bad. But like I said, the ones that, that can appear to be anything, they throw that whole question out of the loop, honestly. So that's the best I can give you there, Gus. Thank you very much for the question. All right, and this one's kind of similar, so I want to jump right onto this. Uh, username at alienaddictions.com, Tom Coco Bear. 
Why does it seem like the Greys are the only ones doing these abductions? It seems 90% of all abductions involve only the Greys. Now, I know that's not true, but I'm just saying I would really appreciate some insight on this. Um, it, that goes back to a lot of the reasons I just spoke about. I believe the group doing the hybrid program, which I believe to be good uh, because they're splicing in genes from other groups of aliens, not just themselves. Apparently very little of the gray genes are used in mixing in with us. It depends on the being that they're creating. Um, they're the ones who are the best at it. It seems to be their particular role in, in our part of the universe, at least. So that's why I think, it, what they told me is that all abductees are hybrids originally themselves. I have certainly seen the tubes with the babies. Those are one of the few concrete memories I have of being up there. And there are so many of them at all different stages in development. Um, so th that's why, because they're the ones doing all that. The other reason why is again, that group that can appear to be anything if we're going to break it down to as simple as, you know, the devil versus God, what's the devil's favorite trick? Pretend to be God. So they appear to be the group who is trying to help humanity. Of course, a lot of people don't believe that the hybrid program helps humanity in any way, shape, or form, and everyone's entitled to their own opinion. That said, uh, I like to know where they actually think that we came from originally, because if they're the group that thinks we climbed out of the slime and, and uh, evolved our way to, to our, the peak of humanity that we're at right now, I'd like to point to the pyramids and, and tell them that that's just not the case. Um, natural evolution does happen, some, yes, but it, we're programmed in our genes to do that. At some point, there was creation it, by who? I guess God. I don't know. I don't know on that, but... Um, they're splicing in genes of beings that are more evolved than we are by millions of years. That That's a help. <laughs> that's, that's an assistance. Um, in addition, this has been going on forever. So to, for us to jump in and say that, that we think it's bad is kind of ridiculous because we really don't know a tenth of the story of, of history and humanity's history in relation to these beings. And it seems like while I'm on that, the species thing, from what I've heard, and I've never witnessed these that, that I recall, um, but, but I've read a lot of people that do experience military type people uh, in relation with some really interesting beings. And I don't know if these are the reptilians appearing to be different things, but things like enormous praying mantises and uh, bugs and things like that, which can you imagine seeing that? I've, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, but apparently there there is a group who's abducted. I don't know if it's active human military that does it or not. But uh, they see some really weird-looking uh, beings up there. So in terms of grouping, um, th that's another one that I've heard. But again, you've got that one group that can appear to be everything. So it's hard to tell what that is. All right, next question from a space chicken. And this is one that, quite frankly, I I'm looking forward to answering. Um, if only people listened to alien abductees or, or took them with a grain of salt, I think that'd really help. But anyway, the username uh, Ruben Panduro, and I hope you I pronounced your uh, last name correctly there, Ruben, has a question, and he asks: Some religious people say that aliens are demons and that they have evil intentions, and some say they are good and here to help us. Any explanation would help this would help get this off my mind. Thank you very much. I've had this question on my mind for quite some time. Okay. This categorization of uh, all aliens as demons drives me nuts. Because uh, to religious people who are actually on to a lot more of this, if they are truly reading their own books like the Bible and the Koran, uh, as they say they are, um, th then most people are. So I respect that. At the same time, I want to ask, wh where in hell do angels come from? The good ones that help. Even though a lot of that's been edited out of your books over the years, where do they come from? Are those demons? No, they're here to help. There is good in the rest of the universe away from Earth. Yes, if I thought that was like the main theme of religion is realizing that and uh, appreciating that. So, so it drives me nuts when I get that. Now, are some aliens quote unquote demons? And this is why the term alien drives me nuts, because they're talking about everything not from Earth. And many of them have been down here, if we look through written history, especially in, in Egypt and the religious books. Are some of them quote-unquote demons? Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's kind of weird for me to call a thing a, a demon, but, but a bad, awful being with horrible intentions. Yeah, I've 